Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Road Choice TV. I'm Justin, your host, and today's topic is repairing a fan clutch using a Road Choice repair kit. This is the second of three fan clutch episodes. Now these kits are super convenient. All the necessary parts to completely rebuild a fan clutch are included in the Road Choice repair kit. Components are pre-assembled for fast, easy repairs with proven durability that meets OEM standards. So let's take a look. Once the fan clutch is removed from the engine, you can begin to disassemble. Now it's going to be a lot easier if you apply air pressure to disengage. Now to start this assembly, we need the fan mounting disc tool or any other means of holding the fan mounting disc stationary and a T55 plus tool which goes into the jack bolt. We all know how tough these are to break loose and you can use a breaker bar for leverage if needed. For today's purposes, I've already loosened this one up. Now once the fan clutch is held still, unscrew the jack bolt which is a left hand thread to remove the fan mounting disc. Now we need to remove the friction liner and clutch pack. Now the clutch pack is spring loaded and we want to keep its springs in place. Therefore we need to install the cage nut to retain the springs. Thread the cage nut until it's hand tight. Now you can release the air pressure. The cage nut is a common part that many shops will have if they've repaired a fan clutch in the past. If you don't have one on hand, you can put the fan clutch in a press to keep the clutch pack from releasing pressure. Then remove the friction liner screws. After removing the friction liner screws, raise the press slowly to release the spring pressure if you didn't use the cage nut. Now this process is not needed to install the new road choice kit because these parts come pre-assembled. Now since we're using the cage nut, we can remove the friction liner and screws without the press. Now we can remove the clutch pack. Then we'll remove the snap ring which holds the air cap in place. Save the air cap and refer to the provided instructions to determine if you'll need to reuse this part. It depends on the main bearing configuration of your specific fan clutch. Now we're going to remove the snap ring which gives you access to remove the air cartridge assembly. Now remove the hex nut and slide the pulley assembly off the shaft. Now normally the hex nut takes a lot more force to remove, so I've already broken it free for today's demonstration purposes. Now we're going to clean away any excess grease. Press out the old bearing or bearings and save any bearing spacers which may need to be reused based on the bearing configuration of the fan clutch that you're repairing. Refer to the instructions to determine this. Press in the new set of matched ground bearings and any necessary bearing spacers, making sure to line up the chevron marks correctly. 
Always press on the outer race of the bearings to avoid damage to the internal components. With the new bearings installed, we can begin reassembly. Now the collared side of the hex nut should be facing in, torque tightened to 130 foot-pounds. Now we're going to install the new air cartridge assembly. Apply some grease on the O-rings and push it in. Next, add the snap ring and apply it curved side down like so. Place it into the snap ring groove of the shaft, making sure that it's well seated. Next, we're going to install the new face seal into the appropriate air cap based on the instructions of the fan clutch configuration that you're repairing. Then put a little grease on the new O-ring and place it around the air cap. Set the new air cap and snap ring. Add plenty of grease in the housing. Now we're going to insert the new quad seal, which has a V shape. The top is flat and the V always goes down. Now the next step is an easy one. The new fan clutch kit has pre-assembled components so you can simply set it in place. Now we'll rotate it 180 degrees to seat that quad seal. Now we simply replace the liner screws and your renewed Road Choice fan clutch is ready to go. Well as you can see, repairing or upgrading with our on-off fan clutch kit is a simple process. And this process is very similar to how you use our two-speed fan clutch kit, which we'll cover in the next episode of this series. Whether it's a kit, replacement parts, or a fully assembled fan clutch ready to drop in, Road Choice is the superior choice for efficient engine cooling. To learn more, visit your nearest Road Choice parts counter and check out our full selection of products, catalogs, and videos at roadchoice.com. As always, send me your questions about this or any other episode to justin at roadchoice.com and I'll get you an answer. And be sure to like and follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter for the latest Road Choice products, announcements, and special offers. Well, thanks for watching and keep coming back for new episodes. We're here to give you information and tips you can put to use right away to keep your truck performing at its best.